Hello and welcome everyone. Apexification is a treatment that can help to save an underdeveloped tooth that has undergone necrosis and can save that tooth from getting extracted. Because when a tooth erupts in the oral cavity, its roots aren't developed yet and it usually takes about 3 years for the root to fully develop. But if this developing tooth becomes scariest during these developing years and becomes necrosed, then the growth of the tooth will cease and there will be an underdeveloped tooth with a wide apex that is known as an open apex. Now this tooth with an open apex and a necrosed pulp cannot be treated with just simple root canal treatment. Because the two most crucial things for a success of a root canal treatment are the coronal and the apical seal. And with an open apex, apical seal is very difficult to achieve. Hence, a root canal treatment in these teeth is unpredictable and unreliable. Apexification is a process that can help to counter this problem in developing teeth that have unfortunately undergone necrosis. And I will be discussing what is the process of apexification. Apexification in the 10th edition of Glossary of Anodontics is defined as a method to induce a calcified barrier in a root with an open apex or continued apical development of an incompletely formed root in teeth with necrotic pulps. So in apexification, a calcified barrier is created at the root end in order to have an artificial root end closure so that the root canal treatment can be completed and an apical seal can be achieved. First, let's discuss the procedure of apexification. After local anesthesia and isolation, an excess cavity is made to get access to the necrotic pulp. The entire necrotic pulp is removed with gentle circumferential filing with a working length slightly short of the radiographic apex in order to avoid over instrumentation, along with irrigation with 1.25% sodium hypochlorite. The objective here is to maximize cleaning by disrupting the biofilms on the canal walls along with irrigation and minimal dentinal removal. After drying the canal with paper points, mineral trioxide aggregate or MTA is introduced into the canal as a powder or in a paste formed and packed. MTA is currently replacing the once famous calcium hydroxide. Although calcium hydroxide was once very widely used due to certain disadvantages, it is now being replaced by MTA. I will talk more about the differences between MTA and calcium hydroxide in a separate video. Since MTA sets in the presence of moisture, a moist cotton pallet is placed in the canal to ensure setting and a well sealed temporary restoration is placed. The patient is recalled when the MTA has set, that is after at least 24 hours and if the MTA is set, obturation is completed and the final restoration is placed. The final restoration after apexification is very crucial because unlike normal teeth where they have a developed root and dentine to support them, the undeveloped necros teeth don't have developed completely formed roots and lack this support and therefore fracture is very likely in these undeveloped teeth. So the final restoration should be made very tough and resilient. So in the end let's discuss what is the cause of failure of apexification. Because failure of apexification will usually result in an infection being developed and in the end the tooth will get extracted. The most common cause of failure of apexification is by bacterial contamination. Bacterial contamination can be caused by the loss of coronal restoration through which the bacteria can gain access or inadequate development of the canal during the treatment. Hence, aseptic environment while treating is very crucial for the long-term success of a tooth treated with apexification. And just like a normal root canal treatment, establishment of apical and coronal seals are one of the most crucial part for the long-term success of apexification. Another cause of failure of apexification are root fractures. As mentioned, the root of the tooth is not fully developed and the root is not reinforced enough to be able to withstand the intense masticatory loads. Hence, final restorations should be made very strong and capable of resisting high masticatory loads during the life of the tooth. Do visit my Patreon page where you can find practice questions, study notes, quizzes on various topics including today's lectures on apexification. 
I also occasionally share behind the scenes stuff over there. So consider supporting me and becoming a Patreon on patreon.com slash study with the dentist. As always, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe and goodbye.